Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Dennis. So today we're going to do something cool. We're going to go over. Um, so we're going to go over picking some markets. Uh, I'm trying to find a few markets for a friend of mine. She's looking for a piece of land. So what we're going to do today is actually find some decent markets that you can find some land for her. And if it doesn't work out, well, guess what? We could still sell it, right? So it's a double-edged sword today, which is really cool. Um, now, today, today the, the main thing we're going to be focusing on is the sell-through rates and then pricing out the price per acre on sold properties in the area. Okay, It's really simple stuff. Honestly, anybody could do this stuff. You just got to kind of just take action and learn a little bit. Um, so... Number one thing that I am looking for right now, hold on. So we have today, um, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but here, check this out. This right here, I want you guys to go, if you guys want to learn how to do this stuff from the best Sumner Healy, right here, I'll give you this link. Go to this website right here. It's just a quick video. It shows you the five simple steps for being a successful entrepreneur and building a highly profitable six-figure land flipping business. Honestly, I follow whatever Sumner says, and it's it's really scaled me up insanely. Um, so if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Dennis Galasco. I'm a real estate investor. I've been real estate been in real estate investing since about 2010, and I've flipped houses. I've been flipping houses. I've been wholesaling. I've been uh, buying rentals ever since then and um i kind of fell into this this category not too long ago maybe in 2022 end of 2022 and i puttered around tried to figure it out and then i found sumner and we started connecting and all of a sudden i went from like not having any good leads or anything like that to, to now i'm like i have leads with a potential pipeline profit of over a million dollars if i could just close all these leads, do my subdivisions and all that stuff. And that's less than like six months. So to be able to go from not having any leads that are good to all of a sudden having a potential pipeline profit, profit, not, not just like, um, gross. This is like net in our pockets, profit, almost a million dollars. Uh, it's pretty insane. And our, our spend was like, five thousand dollars so far so it's like absolutely just outlandish so it's really really crazy um but yeah so check out this site right here and you guys could start learning from somewhere this is a free video just watch it i'll leave that link up um so yeah so i wanted to go over so this is something that i do um this is my my impact hour i call it right i don't know if you guys ever share this real quick so just so you guys could see this is the website that you go to so this is something if you guys never read this book i'm i'm a huge uh fan of reading i read constantly probably listen to by reading i, I mostly listen to audiobooks um but i listen to probably somewhere around 150 to 200 books a year and a lot of times i repeat them right this is the book this is a book that i personally have read probably about 15 times. It's one of those books that every time like I need a little boost, I feel a little lost in my business or whatever it is, or just feeling like I need to reground myself. I, I listen to this book. It's so good. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's just a very, the way it's told, the way it's written, everything like that. And it's got a lot of life advice. It's got a lot of little things. So this is just a pro tip. Um, but one thing they talk about in this book, John Sephora, he talks about something called impact hours, okay? And that's what I focus on is my impact hours because I have two kids and I have a lot of other stuff I do, run a couple other businesses and I just don't have a lot of time, right? So what I do is I take the business I'm mostly focused on and I pretty much make sure I got an hour dedicated to that business every morning, okay? So for this business, this is... Um, for this business, I focus every single morning on just my impact hour. So this book is really great and it teaches little things like that. So, all right, now let's get into the real stuff. So 
take this book out if you guys ever want to kind of focus on some new things. So what we're going to do today is I have a couple markets here that a friend of mine, the Discord, so you guys, if you're not in here, you need to get in here. Such a great, great Discord. I uh, actually I dropped the link. I'll send the link in the comments right here. So if you guys want to join the Discord, just hop in on the link in the comments. So, so this is what we're going to be focusing on today. I need to find a couple of these markets and I'm going to check to see if any of these have like pretty good sell through rates and stuff like that. So what is the sell through rate? Sell through rate is the difference between the on market, on market products like how many properties are on market versus how many properties have sold in the last month. I look for the last month because I want to see those really fast markets. Okay. So the first step we're going to do before we get into anything else, you're going to need three things. Okay. Super easy website, landwatch.com. Great website. This will tell you like you can find any land for sale. everything like that. It's completely free. Everything I'm showing you today is hundred percent free. Doesn't cost you a dime. So land watch, Redfin, and Excel or Google Sheets. I use Excel because, you know, I just like Excel. So I'm going to first, before I go any further, I want to build my sheet. Okay. And my building my sheet, what does that mean? Okay. This is, this is basically how you're going to solve for sell three. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. This is how you're going to solve for sell three. And if you're not good with Excel, it's okay. This is so easy. Um, yeah, the formulas are going to be on here. You'll watch this anytime. You can see exactly how I do it. So what you're going to do is I want to see, number one, I want to see how many sold on Lamb Watch. I've got a stickler when it comes to this stuff. I want to make sure everything's like neat, even though it doesn't really matter. Okay. Land Watch Solds. All right, then I want to do uh, red and on market. Okay. So this is going to, I want to put a count for that. I want to put red, red fin sold a month. One month. Oh, sell through rate, STR, sell through rate. And then I'm going to do three month. And I'll explain why I'm going to do three month, six month, and stuff like that in one year. Three month. And then I'm going to do three month STR. And then I'm going to do... Six month, it is six, six month STR. Okay. So the reason why we're going to do the one month is the most important three month and the six month are, I want to see how fast that market turns over. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go data. You, I'm going to lock these, these. So when I scroll around, it doesn't move. So just another little habit of mine. And now well, let's just add some color to this. Why not? We like color, right? Cool. Okay. Now we, we need to figure out, we're going to have to do some formulas. So these formulas are so easy and I'll show you guys real quick how to do them. So whenever you want to do a formula and figure out the on market versus sold or whatever it is, you're going to equals right equals tells you what you want to figure out you're going to take this all you do is click that cell and then hit divided by this cell and then hit enter so it's going to say division right so because i have no numbers in there it's not going to show me anything okay so i'm going to drag this down this way I don't, when you drag it down you only have to do the formula one time okay i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do this I'm going to go to on markets 
and then I'm going to go divide it by the three month. Okay. The same thing. I'm going to drag it down. All right. Equals right fit on market divided by this one. Okay, perfect. All right, now, like a dummy, I forgot to put the county. Okay, so this is going to be the county. I'm going to put that there. And over here, I'll put the state. This just makes my life a little bit easier later. It's not really necessary now. So I'm going to take these counties. Let's see. Copy. I select my cells. So if you ever pro tip, if you want to like paste into this stuff, select your cells and then hit paste. Yes. Look at that. So what it does is the second you do that, it actually pastes them in, which is so sweet. So this is WV. This one. And these are all. I'm just gonna move these up one. Okay, guys, by the way, I suck at Excel and all this stuff. This is just something I learned by necessity. So it's anybody could do it. It really is not that hard. It's just doing this <clears throat> a couple times, you kind of figure it out, right? And if you ever get lost, just watch that video again. It's really not that hard. So we'll delete this one too. So I don't know if these are gonna have good sell through rates or anything like that. I don't know yet, but the goal today is to figure out if they are. And the reason why we're using these counties is we have a friend of ours that is um, looking to locate, uh, relocate. And we wanna try to find her a good piece of property. Um, so, no, okay. Next thing, so I got that. Now, first on my list, I'm going to go to, let's just go, let's go here. Let's go to Land Watch. Okay, so we're going to go to Land Watch. I'm going to just shrink this down a little bit just so I can see this. So I want to be able to look at Land Watch and look at my county, so I don't have to like flip back and forth, okay? Here we go. All right. Let's see, so we're gonna go to this. We're gonna go hit Winchester. If I knew how to spell, that would be amazing. Winchester County. And this was, this is, what the heck state is this? This is supposed to be Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Winchester VA. Okay. So this is Winchester VA. I want to look for now. What am I targeting? So I'm targeting a specific acreage in this area, but I'm also like, I'm not just targeting. I'm not just targeting this just to just for exactly what she wants. Cause we're probably going to mail these counties if they're good. So the goal here is I'm going to target what I would, what I like to sell and what I like to deal in. I deal in rural recreational land. What is rural recreational land? So if you look at a map, okay, let's go to uh, Google Maps, okay? You look at a map, let's take, okay, so let's, let's look at this. So when you look at a map, you see this big white right here, Oklahoma City, let's say, this is a city. This is a major metro. I don't buy land anywhere near this. In fact, I won't. I don't even really buy land anywhere near this. You know, I actually go all the way out here. Okay, we look for something that's about 45 minutes. So here's major city. This is about 20 minutes. This is about 45 minutes out. Okay. And then 45 minutes to about two hours out. Now, it just so happens in Oklahoma, let's say, 
kind of hits Tulsa. Now, I still, don't get me wrong. If I get a five-acre parcel in Tulsa or a five-acre parcel in Oklahoma City for a great price, totally freaking buy it. But I really only want to focus on this rural recreational land, right? And that type of land is used for hunting. It's used for hanging out, like just parking an RV, just people who just want to go escape the city for a weekend, whatever, whatever the case may be, right? Or some people just want to live off grid, okay? So for instance, um, <clears throat> my friend, that's kind of what they want to do, right? Their goal here is to escape the city a little bit. They homeschool their kids. So they don't really need all the, the bells and whistles and all that stuff. So they're pretty much, they can pick what they want, right? Which is awesome. Um, so yeah, so this is actually just a city. So we're going to go back to Winchester. So what we're going to look in now is I'm looking for a four acre plus parcel. I'm going to add a max range on this. We do go for um, like larger parcels. Like we'll buy, you know, we have a one deal we're working on now. It's 160 acres. We're going to subdivide that. Um, and we look for all kinds of things. So it's not like we won't go bigger, but for right now, just for this. So we're looking just for, for vacant land. So we don't want any houses or anything like that. So, all right. So let's see. So I'm just going to put square feet custom size. Let's go down. So, hundred. I just want to see what's coming up on that. One hundred. Okay. Undeveloped. Okay. So uh, undeveloped. And let's put a max. Um, five hundred thousand. This is, I mean, this is good too. If you guys are like, have a budget, set your max range, your sold range. So, you know, like where you could play in. So I'm just going to see what has, it doesn't look like I have any sold. Okay. So I'm just checking out now. Let's go here. I'm going to look in Winchester. Okay. So I'm going to look for very similar parameters. I want to just see what the activity has been here. Okay, so let's go land. Sold in last year. I just want to see a total market overview. Um, let's do four acres plus. And let's put a top cap on this as... 900,000. Okay. All right. So it looks like they are looking at the city. You know, that's not really what we deal in. So I'll probably be looking around. Let's see what county this is in. Public legal land, four acres. Do, 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 do. Winchester VA. So I'm just trying to find out Winchester County. Okay. Much better. Okay. All right. So it looks like it's a tiny little county. So you could also remove outlines. I could draw a specific area. So if we're looking for a very specific zone, you could just go, I only want this. You know, or whatever you want. I just want to look right here and see what's sold recently. Now this is important too, because if we're looking for subdivisions, which eventually, you know, that's something that you guys are going to want to do. Um, you could target just very specific subdivision areas. Four acres do hundred acres. Okay. Let's get 300. Okay. So this is what's sold recently in the area. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that one now. We're gonna go to Frederick County. Let me just show you this too. So if you're on Landwatch, 
you can just type in so this is if you're if you don't have a target market specifically you're looking for you could just go into this and you can look virginia undeveloped and it's going to rank all the counties see and you want to look for sold you want to see what's going on okay Then watch, let me select all my stuff and then move me up. Okay. So if you wanted to see, let me remove some parameters. Okay. Virginia undeveloped sold. So what this will do is this is going to give you the total solds in that whole market in all of Virginia, right? So you can kind of see like all the counties right here. And what we do for building our master sheet, we take all these counties, Floyd County and, you know, Landwatch, we would see what the ranking is. So same thing, you go like this if you wanted. You go all these counties. Okay. Go up to here. You go. Copy, Control C. You would go into a sheet. You would select all this stuff right here. Let's just say, let's say you picked like forty counties. You just paste it, okay. And now each one of these, you could just copy all this information over. Actually, if you go, let me do that again. I'll show you the right way to do it. I'm going to paste, but you go paste special. Oh, it's not giving me the option. That's all right. So you basically, you could take this, you have all the counties and you could copy this. If you do it, I don't know. I'm not going to figure it out right now, but what you could do sometimes is paste special and it only paste the um, thing, not the links. So you could do that if you ever need to. Um, makes life easy. So, all right, let's take a look at Frederick County. I want to look at this Frederick County. Frederick County. Okay. Frederick County, Virginia. Okay. So, here's my parameters. I have the same parameters. I have land sold in the last year, four acres, plus. Okay. And I, I just put a $900,000 cap on it. Why? Because I'm not, depending on the size of land, I'm not really going to be buying it right now for that. Now, what I do here, you can see in the last year, it sold 101 homes. Let's see what's on for sale right now. So for sale is 41. So we're going to do this. You ready? We're going to calculate the sell-through rate right now for this market. I will show you guys how to do that. I'm just doing this to make my life a little bit easier. If you shrink your two tables down next to each other, like it just makes life easier. You don't have to click back and forth. I have two screens running right now. So if I wanted to, I could, I usually put one on the upper screen and one on the lower screen and then just easier to work. But just for the stream, it's a lot easier to do this. So, okay, here is what I am looking at. So, First thing I'm going to look at is I want to see what's for sale. How many are for sale? I have for sale with those parameters, 41. Type 41. Okay. This is Frederick County. And I'm going to do Redfin sold one month. I'm going to go sold in the last month. What's my count? 10. 10. This, I buy this. Sorry, I actually did this math wrong before. That's why I usually wait to do it. So, what you want to do is you hit the one month divided by the on market, and that gives you your sell through rate. And then this is represented as a percentage. So, we'll click this button. 
and then we could just go when you're on this you hit this see 24 percent um same thing here i did my math wrong oh it, this is like so simple like to mess up so when you go to do this stuff like just make sure you know you're doing your one month divided by <clears throat> your on market to figure out your percentage okay even still still make mistakes okay let's go into the three month let's see what our three months doing Do -do -do. our three month we have 31 nice and then I'll, I'll explain before i fix that one let me just do this let's get our sold six months our sold six months is 50. 50. now let's do this i'm just gonna track just for for you guys we'll do the one year and then one one year filter rate filter rate okay so that's basically how you create your sheet and then you're gonna go let's look at the one year one year what's how many sold in one year 101 okay 101 sold in one year All right, so now that we got all our data, let me just go fix this stuff real quick. I first want to make sure everything's the same damn size. I hate that. Okay, 16, perfect. All right, so the sell through rates, like we said before, this formula is this number divided by on market equals this number, the six month divided by the on, divided by a market okay and this one is this number divided by on market okay so these guys we're gonna just select all these boxes and we're gonna hit this little percent button look at that it's gonna show us a nice percentage um, now if you want to drag this up I could drag this up I could drag this down so as we're inputting other counties, we could just check it. Okay, now let me explain to you why we did that. So I wanna see what's on the market, okay? On the market, there's 41 on market. Now, on average, the last month, 24, uh, 10 have sold, which gives you a 24% sell-through rate. That's great, that's really high. We target more than five on market, more than five sold in the last month, so as long as it has more than five sold in the last month and a sell through rate above 15, so that'd be like, let's say 30, then that's a deal we want, okay? So just show you this divided by this. That's something we want because as long as there's more than five on the market, that means there's activity and 30 would mean, you know, five into 30 is 17%, which is more than 15%. We target that 15% or greater that's in my business that's what we do um we go by the numbers not by what we like and what we think is pretty we don't care about that we go by the numbers it's all about the numbers the numbers make sense we do that so that's that's what we look for when we're looking for a county so already i'm gonna just stop right there and say this is great this is a good county now let's look at the three month why do we do the three month okay this is important you want to know relatively how fast the inventory is going to turn over right let's say i'm putting private money on this deal and i'm buying a parcel of land i'm going to put private money on it and you want to turn that money in four weeks or 12 weeks or whatever it is well you want to go to a market that has really fast turnover so you could turn the money faster right because the longer it goes with private money the more it's it costs right unless you have fixed that whatever you want to do but the longer you go, the more it costs, okay? So I wanna make sure I'm going in a market that turns over in three months so that I know whatever I'm getting is turning over fast enough that I don't have to worry about um, how long my private money's out there for. I drink my coffee black. I don't know how you guys take yours, but 
I like my coffee black. Black like the dirt I buy. Um, so then I go six month. Same thing with six months. Because some markets are three month markets, meaning all the inventory turns over in three months. Some markets are six month markets, meaning all the inventory turns over in six months. And some are one year. <clears throat> this market's pretty good, right? And why do, why do I say it's good? Okay. Well, in three months, 75% of the market turns over. In six months, 122% of the market turns over. And in one year, 246% of the market turns over. That means all the inventory comes in and sells two and a half times. So 41 listings come in, 41 listings sell two and a half times. It's like 100, and 100 properties sell per year, right? Now, is this an exact number? No, I don't know, but this is the whole thing. When you're starting out, you just gotta get started somewhere, right? So you get started doing this, and then what you should do is track all these markets, okay? Go out, pick a whole bunch of markets, go on Land Watch, pick a whole bunch of markets, track them, okay? Let's say you're mailing this county right now, okay? Well, mail that county, but go, track other markets. We do a thing called Market Mondays. Um, we do this inside Leah. And basically every Monday you go in and you track markets. You pick markets, you go through them, you select them. And why do you do that? Because you want to be ahead of the curve and you also want to track trends, right? This month, we're looking at this. We're like, oh, 10 sold in the last month. That's great. Well, what about next month? Maybe zero sell in the next month and like 100 people list their property, okay? What's the sell-through rate? Zero. It's going to go way down, right? So if you see a trend where it's an uptick in the trends, where it's 24%, next month it's 25, next month it's 26, next month it falls off to like 20 and then 19. You could see like a trend in the market, right? And you would know, okay, maybe during the winter it falls off a little bit. In the summer it picks back up. Well, I wanna market to that area in the winter, right? So that I'm buying land in the winter so that I could sell it in the summer when it's summer when it's at peak. So just a little tip. All right. So we found a good county already. That was easy. Now, the next step, <clears throat> we found a good sell through rate. Not that we found a good county. Now, the next step I want to look for is homogenous pricing. What the hell does that mean? Okay. Homogenous pricing is I want to look at the county as a whole. There's a whole, there's a whole, um, another school of thought of like finding, you know, micro markets and stuff like that. And that's something that's really awesome to do. But I'm a broad strokes kind of guy. I like to go for the broad stroke stuff and just mail a whole county. So I want to I want to find a county that works for me to do that, right? If you are a micro market person, we'll touch on that another day. Um, Sumner touches on that on his videos and stuff like that. And he shows exactly how to do it. So for me, real quick, this is what I do. Okay, I look at this county. And I want to see let's say five, five acres. So this, what's this? This is a five acre just sold for 135,000. All right. Now let's go to the other side of the County. What's a five acre selling for? This is a four acre sold for 32,000. Now big discrepancy there, right? Why is it? I have a big dumb calculator because I like stupid calculators. So I'm going to take 32,000. divided by how many acres? Four acres. That sold for about 8,000 an acre, okay? And then if you go to the other side of the county, <clears throat> this is 135,000 divided by five acres. 27,000 an acre. That's a big discrepancy, right? So one side of the county you're selling for 8,000 an acre, one side of the county you're selling for 27,000 an acre. It's a $20,000 difference. It's pretty big, right? Now there's, you could look into why and all that stuff, but really at the end of the day, it's just about taking those quick looks. Okay. So looking at this market, so 22, 22,000 divided by five is 4,400 an acre. So pretty close to this one up here. Okay. Yeah, see all these, this pocket up here. So this is like, if you're doing a micro market, this is this is what you're looking for, okay? You're gonna go in here and say, huh, all these are trading about the same. So 
what I want to do is draw this little market right here, okay? And like now I know all this, this whole little market right here is selling for relatively close to the same thing, okay? So you could just pick out, let me just draw this state line. Look at that, okay? So these are all the solds. There's what? how many sold here? Cool. Now you don't want to show me? Real nice. Um, so you could see like the solds that are here. Redfin does always sketch out on you. So you'll have to deal with that. Good luck. Um, but okay, so let's look at Frederick County as a whole. Oops. So back to what we were doing before as a whole. Okay, cool. Redfin is now sketched out on me. Um, let's go, let's look at other counties. Cause like I said, I want to find something that has homogenous count, uh, homogenous pricing. Show Shenandoah. Shenandoah County, Virginia. All right, Redfin, thank you for being great. We love you. Now, the reason you're going to ask too, why are we using Redfin? I'll show you why. Once we pick a county, I'm going to show you exactly why we like Redfin versus, um, versus anybody else. Okay. Sold last year. Now, if you guys are new to land investing, this is like your ground floor. This is where you want to try to figure this stuff out. Um, it's really helpful to kind of like get in here and like go through all this stuff, right? I know if you're not new to land investing, this is kind of monotonous for you, but this is so important picking your markets and picking them the right way, like picking them so you know they're good, right? Because if you don't pick your market and price it the right way, your business is screwed. Now, our business, basically what we do, there's a lot of strategies. You could you could text, you could do all this stuff. But what we focus on right now in this business, because it's easy, it's repeatable, and we can track KPIs really well, is we mostly just send mail. That's it. We send a lot of mail. And we just track that and we see what, what's going on. Um, all right. So what I'm looking for now is... I'm going to just quickly first look at the sell through rates in this area. So five acre plus vacant land, five acre plus sold in the last year. Um, actually, I was at four acre last time. So whatever you're doing, make sure you're continuing the same trends. Okay. So there's, let's go to the one month. If you want to get a pulse on the market real quick, real, 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 real quick, just do this, do the one month. You got five on market, five on uh, five sold in the last month, and for sale, thirty nine. Okay, so sell through rates a little low. How do I know that? Right. So let's do thirty nine and five. Sell through rate that's thirteen percent. It's not terrible. Um, let's go sold again. Eighteen. So 18 and 24, 24, 54, 24. Okay. So, wow. Okay. So, all right. So look at this. This is, oh, that's why. Cause the math, maths be wrong. Yep. That's why. Cause I never fixed my maths before. So this is a 46. So you could see this is actually probably like a, a one year market, meaning stuff turned over very slow, right? I don't really want to secure debt to this because maybe I don't move it for a year. Well, it's going to cost me a hell of a lot of money. So let's go to Fuckwa. Lord Fuckwad. Fuckwad. We are. 
Yay. Cool. Same thing. Let's look at a one month. Get a quick pulse. Four. For sale. 38. So, I mean, this is everybody's prerogative. If you want to track all this stuff, it's great, right? Interested in this video? I'm not going to track it. I looked at the one month. And the one month's at four. I move on. Clark County. There's over 3,000 counties in the U.S. It is pretty simple to just go find another one. Okay. Clark County. Sold in the last month. Zero. Do not go there. Warren County, VA. Four. So I want to just mark this real quick. Where does my Virginia stop? Nine. I'm just going to throw a little drop of paint on there so I know when my Virginia start stops and West Virginia starts. Okay. So Warren, too slow. Four, mar four in the sold in the last month. Pepper. Two, too slow. Rappahannock. Rapa. Yeah. Zero. Okay. So let's move to West Virginia. Jefferson. West Virginia. Jefferson County, West Virginia. Beautiful. Three. Okay. Let's go Berkeley. Boom. See? 12. Okay. So let's go sold last month. Now let's go back here. Let's go for sales. 59. Okay. Looks like a pretty decent sell through rate. Oops. What is happening? Okay, so that's that's got a good sell-through rate, 20%. Okay. Now let's go to the sold again. Let's do three month is 31, 31, 47, 90. 31, 47, 90. Beautiful. Okay, decent market, right? Why is it a decent market? Well, it's got 20% sell through rate, almost 100% turnover in six months. I mean, it's not, it's not a stunning market. It's not moving extremely fast. But now let's do this. I want to just look at the solds. I'm going to look at a specific pocket range. So targeting for my friend, we're looking just for like, she wants, she wants like a five acre parcel. So I'm specifically looking for that. Now I want to just see in the last year what's sold. And I want to just see the price per acre sold in the last year. Okay. So you got this guy, a five acre lot. This is probably something really beautiful. So I'd sold for that. 87. Cool. Doesn't show me my acreage. All right. 50,000. So 5,000 per acre. Okay. Let's go up here. All right. So that's sold for 85. That is closer to like 10,000 an acre go over here pretty close 8,000 an acre so I'm looking at five acres divided by 155 all right it's a little higher five so I look kind of like doesn't really have homogenous pricing okay just based off that so let's let's just keep looking we could always circle back Hampshire West Virginia. All right, let's sold last month. Let's see. Check the pulse. Pulse is good. She's got a pulse, baby. 13. Go for sale. 20. Ooh, that's what you like to see. That's a good one. 
Why is that a good one? 65% sell through rate. Bam. On market. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Hang on. Hang on. I still have these parameters on. No max. Why am I doing no max? Okay, so 44. Please double check yourselves before you wreck yourselves. Sold. Last month. 19. This is crazy good. Nine, uh, 43% sell through rate. Damn. Okay. 44, 73, 153, 44, 73, 44, 73, 153. Hot market. Hot, 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 hot market. You got a 43% sell through rate. You got a hundred percent turnover in three months. That's insane. And then you have six month is 166. And then you have boom, 350%. That means the market turns over three and a half times per year. So if you wanted to cycle money through a market, you could cycle somebody's money four times in a year, which is insane. Okay. Next little disparity. Now, just because I'm looking at the four to 10 acre doesn't mean that's it. So like, you might find the four to 10 acres trade wildly, but the 10 to 20s trade the same. And I'll, I'll just show you that real quick. So I'm gonna look at this market already. I'm seeing, so just as a quick, quick glance, I'm already seeing this market, it's great. Without even looking, just look at the prices, 80,000, 54,000, 110. It's pretty much pretty similar, right? So a $30,000 lot, 30,000 sold for, uh, Acres. That's 7,500 an acre. Now let's go to the other side of the county. 37,000 divided by how many acres? About seven. 5,200 an acre. So that's pretty close to that one, right? Let's check out this 30,000 lot. 30,000 divided by five, 6,000 an acre. So this is what you want to see, guys. This is a lot. This is perfect. Okay. They're all trading pretty close to each other. Okay. So this, we're going to pick this market. Okay. Now I'll show you the next steps. All right. So what I'm going to do now, now I have all the sold data. I want to make sure I want to get everything. You know, let's just double check while we're on here. Let's just double check this. We're going to change this parameter to. Let's check the 10 to 20. I want to see. I want to see if these are trading relatively the same too. Okay. Because there could be disparities. Now, this is 165,000. That's old 10 acre, about 16,000 an acre. Less than that, about. Uh, what are they, like 7,000, 8,000 an acre. Okay, about the same. About the same. All right, so there you go. I mean, this right here, this tells you like, okay, this is actually a pretty good market. The pricing is pretty damn homogenous. So this is a win. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull four. No max. All right. I'm going to go C, hit C. Okay. So now here's all your data. You're going to go ahead, scroll all the way down to here where it has these little pages. Hit download all data. What does that do? Boom. You just downloaded all the data from Redfin. Show and Finder. I'm going to open with Excel. All right. So next step. I'm just going to delete a couple columns because I don't really need them. It's kind of data I don't really need. Now, this is where this is the most important part. This is where you price the actual price per acre that you're going to overlay later. And we'll do another video on that. We'll overlay that data later onto a um, onto a, a sheet. OK, so right now we're going to figure out first step. Um, 
Now, you know, we pulled vacant land, so we don't really need beds and baths. So I'm going to change this to acres. I'm going to change this to price per acre. I'm going to clear this one right here. So every time you download Redfin data, this is exactly what the sheet looks like. So I just mess with the sheet, changed a couple names. So I'm going to put price per acre and then I'm going to leave that open. So this is my lot size. So the one thing Redfin does not do is does not pull data and show you the um, how many acres it is. It only shows you how many square feet the lot is. So what do you have to do? I have to solve for that. I hit equals 43,560. That's how many square feet are in one acre divided by this, the lot size equals. Good. I did that wrong again. So you hit equals this, you hit the lot size divided by 43,560, and then you get seven acres. Okay. And then I'm going to take this I hit equals again. I take the price divided by my acres and I'm going to get price per acre. We're going to just hit this and this. These two columns kind of want to be in dollars. And this guy, I want to take this down to like two decimal places. I don't need all that. So 7.4. I don't need it to be an exact. Okay. Now I'm going to take these two, select them together. So you just hit this one, hit shift, select that one. And then you just drag them right down. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. We got it. All right. So I want to lock this. I'm just going to go into view. Freeze top row. Okay. Now I'm going to take this whole, uh, this guy right here. I want to sort it. Okay. I want to sort by the smallest, largest. All right, so sometimes I don't know why it's doing this because it's a dummy. So sometimes it doesn't want to sort for, for that for some odd reason. Okay, so what I just did, I sorted by the lot size. Sometimes it doesn't want to sort my formulas for some odd reason. I don't know why. Um, it just it just be like that sometimes. Gonna remove some of this stuff because I don't need it for my references. Okay. Now I'm gonna go through this. I'm looking at see these price per acres. All right, why is a four acre lot here selling for nine thousand, but this one's selling for 160? Well, let's take a look. Something's happening somewhere. So the goal here is to remove stuff. Okay, so this looks like it's some historic land. So that's, there's something's going on here. What is happening here? Why are, why do you suffer so much? Just da, 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 da. Corner lot, yeah. Looks like an outlier. So we just delete outliers, okay? I don't want them to get out of here. So I want stuff that's kind of trading in the same. Why did this sell for 9,000, but this sell for 3,000? Maybe this is a dumpy lot. Let's see. Looks like a recent subdivision on a cul-de-sac. Is this it? It might be that one. So why would this have sold for less? Well, it looks like it might be this lot right here, which is doesn't have the cul-de-sac, which is going to be a premium. So it's a little bit less. So that's probably why I shall remove you. Like I said, we want to find stuff that has similar pricing, 90,000. I'm just going to remove these. I know there's something up with them. You could go in and look at them, but eh, just pull them out. Since I'm sorted by lot size, I kind of know everything should be trading relatively the same. So let's check this 26,000. Why did you trade different? Okay, there you go. You got RV hookups. You got beautiful lake access, all that stuff. Of course, it's going to sell for a premium. But we're not pricing everything in the market for a premium. We're only pricing everything in the market for what we, what we think the total market's worth. Okay. 
beautiful land, nice river. I guess it's running either right through it or right by it. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay, that's also why that one sold for a little bit more. All right, so I'm just gonna take out all the outliers. Now, you could get micro into this stuff and pick by the zip code, pick by the this, pick by the that, but it, it's really just up to you and what you wanna do. Um, for me, I'm looking for total market. I just wanna move, get something that's like pretty similar all around. So I don't really focus on the micro markets right now. Um, we plan to bring on a data analyst, and once we bring in our data analyst, that's when that's when that person is going to basically be doing that all the time, is they're just going to look for um, they're going to look for like micro markets and price them out and do all that stuff. But for now, we aren't doing that. So now if you guys are wondering too, like, yeah, we're, we're showing you like all this stuff. Um, and it's great to know this. Now, if you're not in like the Leah group or anything like that, when you join the Leah group, like you'll be able to really talk with people and get in here and do all that stuff. So, um, we have the Leah discord that you could hop in. It's in the comments. Um, and if you also want to learn like how we're doing this and doing, you know, six figures plus, I mean, some of us are doing six figures plus a month, um, which is seven figures a year. Uh, you can learn. Just check out this link at the bottom. Um, watch a quick video. It's the five steps. And then take it from there. So right here. So these are a little weird. So yeah, so you can see I'm just trying to sort these out. Let's check why this sold for this. You know, and this is boring, guys. I know I get it, but this is still the most important part of your business, man. Everybody just puts this stuff. <laughs> They're all about the Civil War down here. Wow. All right, so this is another land investor. They bought a big acreage, and then they chopped it up to three lots. So that's what we do. So we sold it for a premium. I'll just pop those babies out. Same thing, this guy just sold for a premium. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, as you're going through this, you'll start noticing, like, I just see a 15,000 acre and the rest are like sixes, so I just pop them out. Um, and that's something you'll, you'll kind of start learning and seeing as you go through this a lot. You do a lot of markets. Okay. Sometimes it's usually just because it was a premium lot, it had um, water on it. And just so you know, too, if you look at like West Virginia areas like this, they like water features sell for a lot more. So if you want, you could just target lots that have a lot of water features and just sell them, uh, just buy them. That's something like when you're pulling data on Data Tree, that's something you could sit there and like hone in and do. Um, we could show you how to do that. It's pretty cool. Why did this sell for 11,000 an acre? Nice lot. Good road access, all that stuff. It just looks like a nice piece of land. So 11 acres to enjoy. Okay. All right. So you can see the rest is kind of similar. 4,000, 5,000. It's pretty close, right? A little bit of disparities. Why did this one sell for more? Let's go check that baby out. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. Nice land. Okay. 
So this is guys just to, this is like my impact hour. This is the stuff that I do. Like the most important stuff in my business is finding markets. Um, so we always try to do that. So I, I spend an hour every day in the mornings, like doing this kind of stuff and picking out good markets and, and all that jazz. I encourage everybody to do the same thing. Um, just spend an hour. I mean, we're, we've been doing this hour on the live stream. If I'm doing this myself, I would have already had this priced and all that. It's pretty quicker, but I'm explaining things, taking a little more time. All right. So I want to figure out the average in these areas. Now I want everybody to know this is not a freaking perfect science. You're never going to get this right. You're never going to get everything perfect. You're never going to get the total market priced exactly where it needs to be. So it's just, you're just sending a broad stroke. You want to get a generalization around in the area and then like, let's get some feedback from some mailers and then maybe fine tune it. Okay. I only got, you know, I sent out a thousand mailers. I only got five calls. Oh, maybe I priced it wrong. Let me change that. I'll price it a little bit higher, try repricing my county and then do it again. Right. So that's how we do that now. So I just did the average for the four to five acre parcels. I'm going to do the average for average. You hit equals and you average. Then you select your cells. Yeah, let's go up to nine point. Just was shy of 10 equals average Oops. equals average. You start spelling the word, it pops up. And then I select my cells. Let's go the 10. Now it depends on how granular you want to get. You could just focus on like the 10 to 12s and price your 10 to 12s different price your, you know, price your um, 10 to 20s, this, you know, the same, whatever it is, figure out your average of that. This one, I'm just, just for fun, just doing it different averages. And then I'm going to go back and look at it. Why? And all right, so when you do this stuff too, you want to see cascading pricing, right? So basically, as the acreage size goes up, the price per acre goes down. It's like buying water at Costco. You could buy a bottle of water at Costco, a case of water at Costco for four dollars. You go to a baseball game, that same case, uh, same bottle of water sells for, you know, you could sells for like six dollars. So. It's supply and demand. You have more supply, the demand goes down, the price goes down. Okay, so this looks like the 40 acre plus has quite a drop off. So I'm gonna just price everything 40 to 80 acres, about the same. Equals average. Let's do all the big acreage, same. Okay, cool. Let's see, do we have a cascading effect? 7,000, 5,400. 44,000. Okay. So why is this range trading a little higher? I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay. Looks like this just area is just a nice area. Lot 20. I think this is a recent subdivision that somebody just made and Usually recent subdivisions, they trade a little bit higher. Oh man, stop fighting me. Just work with me, honey, work with me. Okay. It's cool, because when you download the data, it everything goes on here. So there you go, this one has like a shed, has some improvements, looks like it has Cleared land. There you go. Why is this in trading? Good. You have electric. You have this. You have all the stuff, all the things, right? So, of course, that's going to trade higher. So, let's take out these two parcels. Watch what happens when I take out these two parcels. So, it's 5,800 right now. Boom, 4,900. It went down. Down, down, down. So, let's take out this one. And guy okay cool so i have a beautiful cascade okay the four to five acres are seven thousand the six to ten acres are 
5,400. The 10 to 12s are trading at 4,900. The 12 to 20 is trading at 3,600. And so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I'm going to create this little guy. And I'm going to do 425. I want you to be a number. So we're going to do general. Sometimes this stuff likes to be stupid. 425. I don't want to change you text. Let's change this to text. Sometimes Excel likes to think it's smarter than you and change your stuff and put a date. I don't want a date. I want my number because that's what I'm doing. Four to five, six to 10, or it could be six to nine. Point nine to be four to five point nine, technically ten to nineteen point nine twenty to what do we do? Twenty to forty? Twenty to forty. 20 to 40, 41 to 100. So 20 to 39.9, this is 20, 39.9, okay. And then 40 to 99.9, and then 100 plus, okay. Make it bigger make you wider okay now I'm gonna just take these numbers so so I don't have to keep going back and forth just copy this drop this baby right here paste I just want to paste um, paste special values only and I'm just gonna delete Just deleting cells. When you delete the cells, it just moves them up. So shift cells up. You could also just type all this stuff in, but eh, I'll be lazy. Okay, looks like I missed an acreage range. Let me go find out which one I missed. I'm pretty sure I missed a, I did 40 to 80 and then 99 to 100. So 40 to 79.9, 9. and then 80 to 99.9. 9. Okay, so there you go. That is, Pretty much it. So now here's the data. Now what I'm going to do next, this is when you would actually take this data and overlay it with, you pull some data from your data source, data tree, whatever the case may be. Well, actually I'll save this. I'm not going to do anything else. I'll save this and then we'll do, I'll do this another time with everybody else. We could do the same thing. Um, what is today? I'll do the same thing next Wednesday. And we'll, we'll go over this data. We'll take this data now, and then we'll actually go overlay it and price the whole county and prep for mail. So super easy to do. We'll show you all that stuff next week. Same time, Wednesday at 5.30 a.m. Um, you guys could always watch this. It's always going to be live. So this right here, I'll save this sheet. Let's go this file. Save as. What county was this? I don't even know. County, 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 county. What county are you? Is this Hampshire County? Hampshire County, West Virginia. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to this. Close this. 
is this one? This guy. We're gonna save this as Hampshire County, West Virginia, and this is um sold data. My Dropbox, cash for land, list, new folder, all oh, West Virginia. Great. Okay, save that baby. Uh, cool. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So I will go back to that. Um, so yeah, basically that's that. So that in a nutshell is basically how you take, figure out your sell through rates, okay, and then pull some sold data, and then actually price out that sold data. This is the most important part of your land market, like the um, your land flipped business is this. If you don't do this right, you can't do anything else right, right? You need to find out what the pulse on the market is and what stuff is selling for. So if you can't do that, you're screwed. Um, so that's why I went through, I showed you all that stuff today. Um, it's definitely the most important part. A few takeaways for today. Number one, read the book, The Wealthy Gardener. Set yourself up with some impact hours. If that means you have to wake up an hour early every day and work on your business every single day for one extra hour a day, right? That's all you need. One extra hour a day. And that could transform your life forever, right? One extra hour a day. Do that seven days a week. That's seven hours a week focused on just your business. And you'll be set for life. So it's that simple. Um, check out The Wealthy Gardener. Check out the link below, landtraining.co slash rb slash r slash b. Um, check out a quick video. It shows you five steps to becoming a land investor. Check this out here. Right here, five steps to multiple six figures. Check that out. We'll also have the link below in our comment sec in our um, description section. Also, if you want to join our Discord, there's the link below. Um, if you want to set up a call with Sumner, link below. Everything's right below. So be sure to do that. Um, thanks for coming. This is Coffee with Dennis. And I will see you next Wednesday at 5.30 a.m. Have a good one, y'all.